morning. This is AM America for Friday, April 25th. I'm Stephanie Edwards without Bill Butel. He is about to embark on a special assignment. He may at the moment be lying in bed aghast at what he sees here. <laughs> Because with me are my co-hosts for this hour, uh, visiting America from England. In fact, they just arrived last night. Three members of the cast of Monty Python's Flying Circus, probably the nuttiest TV comedy series ever made. Did I read that correctly? You read it wonderfully well. All right. They are uh, Eric Idle sitting next to me, Michael Palin, and Graham Chapman. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, Hello Bill. Thank you. Hello. In this hour, you'll be seeing a scene from our latest movie, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, so be warned. And in AM America's Washington studio, ABC's diplomatic correspondent Ted Koppel and former New York Times reporter Tad Salk, pronounced Schultz, will be airing their opposing views on Secretary of State Kissinger, pronounced Reagan. <coughs> Thank you, Michael. And you'll also be seeing a special report on the Portuguese elections and a look by Ralph Story, pronounced Story, at Hollywood's massive talent search to find a new kung fu hero to replace the late Bruce Lee. Aren't they doing nicely, ladies and gentlemen? Now for the moment we move, of course, to Washington. Peter Jennings with the news. And Peter, I understand the people in Saigon, oh, I can't see him this morning. People in Saigon are waiting now for the South Vietnamese uh, government to give them uh, a recognizable leadership. Indeed, Stephanie. They're waiting uh, probably for what seems to be inevitable, the fall of their city from its present status one way or the other. This portion of AM America is brought to you by Kellogg's because your best days start with breakfast. <coughs> the Lone Ranger, presented by Tootsie Roll. America's favorite candy. Are you silver? Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. The Lone Ranger rides again. Petula Clark sings for Plymouth. Just look what Plymouth up to now. The 1969 Sport Fury by Plymouth. With standard contoured bucket seats separated by a fold-down armrest. A safe flight instrument panel. Contoured glass. Hidden windshield wipers. Just look what Plymouth's up to now. Driving will never be the same again for you. Nominations for leading actor in a comedy series are Don Adams, Get Smart, Bob Crane, Hogan's Heroes, Dick Van Dyke, The Dick Van Dyke Show, and the winners are not <laughs> so too big. In Hollywood, the winner is Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Boy, what a stomach I've got right now. <laughs> Did, you know, to get this on the uh, last series, after being, we're now off the air, to all intents and purposes, we sh stopped shooting our show. That little group of people down there at our table know how gratified I am to them to get this and how much I owe them. But since I'll never have another chance to be up here ever again, I would like also to thank the television industry for what they've done for the way they've treated me which has been pretty nice well look what he did for me <laughs> thank you very very much the nominations for leading actress in a comedy series are Lucille Ball The Lucy Show Elizabeth Montgomery, Bewitched. 
Mary Tyler Moore, The Dick Van Dyke Show. And the winner is? In Hollywood, the winner is Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> Academy for giving me this great honor, but I want to also want to take this opportunity publicly to thank everybody connected with the Dick Van Dyke Show for five of the happiest years of my life. There's never going to be another occasion like that again, and this is going to serve always to be the most wonderful reminder of that experience. Thank you. Here is a message from the United States Post Office. Help! The post office is flooded with mail. The mail load keeps getting bigger. It now pours in at the rate of over 200 million new letters and packages a day. Just sorting this avalanche of mail takes longer and longer and can slow up mail delivery, your mail. That's why zip code was created. When you add zip code to the address, Postal workers can sort the mail far more quickly and efficiently. And the post office can use its new electronic machines that read zip numbers and sort mail with space aid speed. So add zip code to every mailing address. If you don't know the right zip, call your post office or look it up in their zip directory. Include your own zip code in your return address. That makes it easy for others to zip mail to you. Remember, mail moves the country and zip code moves the mail. Jim Conway, and I'll be bringing you my all-new show starting this Saturday. We got a lot of, we got a lot of funny stuff for you. We got some sketches, we got some songs, and we got some music. So be sure, be sure. The Tim Conway Show, Saturday night at 8, 7 Central. Friday night, join Kelly Monchie for No Holds Barred. See what cowboys and cowgirls do for kicks. Visit a school for comics and an on-the-street talent scout and more. New Friday at 11, 30, 10, 30 Central and Mountain. Good evening from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. The latest CBS News New York Times poll shows President Carter and Ronald Reagan running a close race with John Anderson far behind. Mr. Carter picked up 11 percentage points from a month ago. Check your phone bills for phony phone calls. People charging their long-distance calls to other numbers. AT&T says customers and phone companies are being built of more than $30 million a year. The Iranian parliament has decided not to debate the fate of the American hostages, at least not now. Instead, the parliament will create a special committee to deal with the issue. Terrorists hit the U.S. Embassy in El Salvador with two anti-tank rockets today. No injuries, but a lot of damage. Imagine a telephone cable fiber as thin as a human hair. G. No, GTE. I'm Morton Dean. More news later on this CBS station. This is CBS. The 1954 pageant, when Miriam Stevenson of Columbia, South Carolina, became known as Miss Universe. Today, Miss Stevenson is Mrs. Donald Upton, and she's known as Mommy! Mommy! Yes, Mommy, to her five-year-old son, Donnie Jr., Hello, I'm June Lockhart, and I'm visiting with Mrs. Upton and her family. You get another star on your ladder, Donnie? Uh-huh. Well, what's the star for, Miriam? Well, we play a little game. Every time Donnie brushes his teeth, he gets another star on his ladder. And when we get to the top, I get a present. <laughs> now, run along and play, honey. Oh, Miriam, that sounds like a wonderful way to get Donnie to brush off and... Well, I don't want him to have all the cavities I did when I was growing up. Well, brushing's important. How about toothpaste? That's important, too. What kind do you use? We use Crest. Oh, why is that? Well, all the tests, it works. It does. As a matter of fact, they tested Crest recently against the same toothpaste, but without Floristan. Both groups in the test brushed three times a day for two years, and Crest reduced cavities 46%. Why, that's almost half. Right. In this test, Crest reduced cavities by almost half. 
Wouldn't you like your family to grow up with fewer cavities? Then have regular checkups. Watch between meal treats and brush often with Crest. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Montgomery, with a word to mothers about two new cereals from Quaker. Ooh. I'm Quake, the earthquake power cereal made with rice. I'm Quint, the crazy energy cereal made with corn. Shh, excuse me. Quaker has reinforced Quisp and Quake with B-complex vitamins and iron. These two sweet cereals not only taste good, but they're good for kids, too. All right, fellas, it's all yours. I love Liz. I love her more than you do. <laughs> state insurance companies. You're in good hands with Allstate. By skill, the people who put power in your hands. And by Buick Motor Division, on behalf of your quality Buick dealer, who invites you to see and drive the 1967 Buick. Was it important? I think so. It had something to do with post. Post? That's my sponsor. Come over here. Lie down. Lie down. Think. <laughs> think. What do you mind? Think. What did he say? What was it? Post, post, post. Was it about post toasties? How delicious and light and crispy they are? And how they can never get enough of post toasties because they're just a little bit better? That rings a bell. Of course it does. If it was from post, it had to be about post toasties. That must be it because it had something to do with post. Of course. Danny? Yes, dear? Did Rusty give you the message? Yeah. Well, why didn't you meet me? I've been waiting 45 minutes in front of the post office. 